Follow me for larger aliens. Subscribe. <laughs> hey everyone! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Hey guys, so we're back with another Halloween video. Today, as you see, we're doing pumpkin carving. So here you see, I am working on the first pumpkin. All together, we carve four pumpkin, and in this video, you will see how I carved the first three. Hope you guys enjoy. So to begin, I started carving the eye, which is the biggest and the easiest part. Next, I moved to the nose. I wanted to do one side of the pumpkin face first, so that's the reason why I didn't go directly to the next eye. So for you guys who are returning subscribers, you guys may know us with our two boys, Elijah and Elliot, and you might wonder why we're not, they are not involved in this video. Actually, they are. The reason why I decided to do this pumpkin carving just by myself is mainly because of the sharp object. I did not want them to be cutting or carving anything and then accidentally get injured. So I decided to do the carving and then after we're finished carving, we're going to do some decorating and that's when you guys can definitely tune into our next episode, which I'm going to involve the link below of how we decorated and put up our jack-o'-lanterns. Here you guys can see I'm cutting out the mouth. Um, you know, the main thing for parents and even for parents who want to get their kids involved is definitely be very careful with the knife. I'm sorry that my hand might be in the way and you might not be able to see exactly how I'm cutting out the pumpkin. But honestly, the pumpkin was very easy to cut. It was a hard, the knife slid right through. The hardest part for me was definitely getting the edges where I have to turn and getting like the little parts out. So here you see me pulling the mouthpiece out. So as you notice, it came right out. You don't have to put an extra force into it. And once you're done and you get that piece out, the best thing to do to get your jacqueline to look nice is to just clean up any little fresh um, edges that you might have clean that part out you can clean it out at the end I like to just go ahead and do it as I go so definitely between the teeth you want to be able to once you put that light in you want it to be able to look nice so you want to be able to see exactly and make sure that you clean each part out so now I'm moving to the last eye and I'm just cutting that eye out And guys, I also forgot to mention in the beginning exactly um, how I got the design for my pumpkin. Honestly, all we did was just buy a carving kit from our local clothes. You can get that at Walmart in it or anywhere. And it comes with different designs in it. And I used the design, I drew it, and as I cut, it was hard to get exactly how that drawing was. So as I cut, I just went ahead and did like little funky or little crazy cut in to make it look scary because I couldn't get exactly what I wanted. And there it is guys, there it is, the final cut in for its first pumpkin. That pumpkin is the one that I will be designing and we have three more, one for Elijah, one for Elliot and one for dad. So definitely stay tuned and we have this one that you see is Elijah he wanted to do a scary tree and as I said all I did was just draw the picture on he picked out his design I drew that picture on and now I just cut along the lines and cut it out and I hope you guys definitely like I honestly like the way they turn out at the end so definitely stay tuned and see the final product And 
guys again sorry I had my hands in the way I didn't do a good job this is actually my first time um, doing a recording like this so hope you guys don't mind and hope you guys can actually see the details um, this one the scary tree was actually a very challenging one for me because I didn't know exactly where to cut I had the picture drawn on there but I didn't want to mess it up and the cuts were so close to each other that honestly in the end this is a little secret I actually end up cutting a piece of the tree off but I bet when you watch it to the end and you see the final product you probably don't even recognize where I messed up on it and that happened because the the cuts were so close together there was so much details that a piece of the pumpkin it was too thin for me to actually cut on the top and then cut on the bottom and that piece in the middle was a little too thin so it ended up breaking off and I just all I did was just break it off and then just improvise and made it it, it honestly looked decent. The hardest part of this video was actually the mouth where you see I'm doing that part now it was so small and so much different details that went in the mouth honestly all I did was just freestyle with the little edges and just get it to look scary and it was the hardest part with the mouth was actually getting it out because I didn't want to break any of the teeth off and then it might ruin the whole thing but see it actually came out good i gave it some little sharp teeth and then i just went ahead and cleaned it up and then it has two little eyes and that was actually it for this pumpkin guys just cutting the eyes out once i was finished um getting all the cuts out getting all the pieces out i went ahead and just washed it off wiped it off and I just let it sit outside and dry so if you can see the final product that's the scary pumpkin tree so the last one that I am doing is this one I honestly don't even know what to call this one it's like a ghost a goblin thing I don't know but let me know what you guys will call it definitely um let me know what y'all will call it and this is the last one that i'm doing and once this one is done i'll go ahead and show y'all the final product
remember guys, this is my first time doing this. So for all you guys out there that's doing this for the first time or that want to do this, just remember this do not have to be perfect. It's the thought that counts and just using your imagination. Like I said before, I actually trace the face on my pumpkin. You guys can ask your little ones, what do they want to draw? They can put characters, they can put spooky house, spiders, and just draw it out on a piece of paper or draw it out on your pumpkin and then just cut. If you mess up, improvise. There go the final product and all I did at the end once I was finished was just take a wet rag wipe the pumpkin off wipe all the little extra things off the pumpkins ready guys so these are the final carving for all four pumpkins which one is your favorite let us know so we got a cat face a ghost face, a Halloween tree, and a ghost skeleton. That's look like a skeleton face. Scary teeth, a mouth, and now it just happens sitting outside in the sun to dry a little bit. And then in the next video, you can tune in to see us painting and decorating our pumpkin. Let us know what you think. And that's it. And thanks guys for watching. That's all we got for today. <laughs> <laughs>